The Portland Fashion Institute is working to teach local high school students about sustainability when it comes to clothes. And recently, a group of Grant High School students learned a 2,000-year-old dyeing technique. Jenny Hansen shows us in tonight's Positive Vibes. Give you a little demo on the jumping pen so that you see what, what that looks like. That gives you a finer line, but it's, um, but it's super fun. You have to work really fast. This process called batik dates back 2,000 years, and well-known textile designer Trisha Langman is keeping it alive in the classroom. If you want to really change an outfit, dye it or batik on it or screen print on it, uh, and it becomes something else. Batik is a design method that uses wax to coat the parts of fabric that you don't want to dye. This group of Grant High Schoolers learned the ancient process through this special class at the Portland Fashion Institute. I was surprised to see how the wax like soaked into the um, fabric and also just like how quickly you have to move because you can't have the wax like not completely melted so it like sits on top. It's yeah. been an interesting process. And then take it out, squeeze, squeeze. On the day we were there, the students were using fabric from leftover t-shirts from school that would possibly otherwise go to the landfill. Well, I think it's really interesting. I really, I like the, especially like since we're making patches, that's like inherently sustainable. I mean, you can make your clothes last longer. So many young people like these folks today, Gen Z is what we call them, are so interested in sustainability, but they're not really knowing what to do with it. And this gives them one option. Trish teaches many green techniques at the Fashion Institute to show students that anything can be saved and made into a work of art. Again, that's Jenny Hansen with that fun report. So the Portland Fashion Institute does have a fashion show coming up Sunday, July 9th, and they offer courses throughout the summer. If you'd like to learn much more, head over to coin.com.